Right. Well, as technology advances by leaps and bounds seemingly every day, it's also helping many senior citizens live a more productive life by letting them stay in their own homes longer. Imagine having a television notify a person it's time to take their medicine or a program that sends an alert to a family member if there's too little activity from a loved one over a certain period of time. 10 News tech expert Dan Thompson from Claris Networks shows us how it all works. Hey, how's it going everybody? I am Dan Thompson with Claris Networks. We are here today at a home in North Knoxville to check out a new technology idea that I think you'll be interested in. Uh, as the population in the United States gets older, uh, many people are considering, you know, when is the right time to move to an assisted living home? When is the right time to move to a nursing home? Or could I perhaps use technology to help me stay in my own home a little bit longer? So let's jump inside and check out some of the technology that's available. So thinking through in a scenario where someone might stay in their home a little bit longer, loved ones typically will call them a couple of times a day just to check in. Well, what happens between those times when you're actually on the phone with them? Well, leveraging smart home technology, uh, we can set up an array of sensors that can let you know things like, what time did my loved one get out of bed this morning? Did they go to the refrigerator? Have they taken their pills? So using this technology, you can create a bigger picture of if they're okay, is everything going as normal? And then you can have more peace of mind that your loved one is okay while they're at home. So let's tie all this together to make it a little bit easier to understand. Let's say your loved one is supposed to take their medicine at 8 in the morning. Uh, they're watching the TV. They'll actually get a notification on their TV that says it's time to take your medicine. Uh, so we can have a smart medicine dispenser uh, and then when I dump the medicine out and I take it presumably, uh, then my TV goes back to the normal viewing channel, whatever it was that I was watching. Now, a system like this can be configured in such a way that it will not go back to showing TV until they've taken their medicine. Uh, similar scenarios is you could have it to where uh, they have to stand on a pad in the kitchen, which maybe is where their medicine is. Many different ways to configure this, uh, but the idea of having a notification on the TV and then being able to follow that up with perhaps a text message where you can go to a website and see, yes, in fact, they did actually take their medicine. So to take this idea just a little bit further, also available are things like this. This is an app for your iPad, and what this will show you is it's a direct connection to all the sensors available in your home. Uh, so you get a real-time view of, you know, doors opening, doors closing, uh, movement in hallways. Uh, if you want to go even further than that, you can even get cameras installed in the home so you get a real-time look at what's happening in the house uh, in an individual rooms. Now a few times in this segment we've mentioned text messages and several different alerts can be configured. Now this is handy when you're out and about and maybe not in front of a computer but you have your phone with you you get these notifications. You can get things like uh, the medicine was taken, uh, a bedside sensor was triggered. This lets you know that they got in or out of bed. Now this just gives you more peace of mind that activity is going on in your loved one's home so you can kind of keep tabs on them without actually having to call them or actually be at their house. All right, now, as with everything in the connected world, all the items that we've talked about today do require internet access, so you want to make sure you have that squared away for your loved one. Outside of all that, though, I hope what you've seen today is there are plenty of examples out there of ways to keep tabs on your loved one, whether you're here in town or across the country. I'm Dan Thompson with Claris Networks. It's expected that over the next few years, baby boomers will push this new tech trend, due in part to them being independent and the fact that we are seeing fewer paid and unpaid caregivers. Pretty neat, though. If you'd like more information on how these systems work, you can go to telehelper.net or give them a call there at the phone number on your screen. We'll probably have that information at WBIR.com as well. We'll be back right after this.